What's up, DC Nation? Welcome back to another video on James Tynan's Batman Run. Today, we're checking out Batman 109. This is the Cowardly Lots Part 4. If you're not caught up on this series, don't worry. I'll put a link in the description to get you caught up. But heading into this new issue, we pick up in Fort's Grave. The new neighborhood of Bruce Wayne. Bruce remembers Miracle Molly's question. Do you ever think how much stronger you could be if you let your past go? Could that Batman actually save Gotham City? After thinking about the question for a moment, Bruce stands up. Oracle, I'm back online. And here I was getting ready to send in the cavalry. You missed a few things while you're on your little field trip to Wonderland. Oracle says, I heard chatter on my way back to townhouse. More scarecrows? Bruce says. Barbara Gordon, aka Oracle, goes on to fill Bruce in on important intel while he puts on his cape and cowl. Oracle tells Bruce that more scarecrows are popping up all around Gotham. Crane is doing a scarecrow attack that doesn't need a single drop of fear toxin. There's a theory that the Unsanity Collective is working with Scarecrow side by side. The mood's getting tense out there. Did you find what you're looking for? Oracle asks. I need to know everything there is to know about Simon Saints. Contact Ghostmaker. If I can get Crane's location from Saints, the two of us will be able to apprehend Scarecrow tonight. I need him on standby. Also, send the schematics of the Saint Industries Tower to the car. I need a way in. Batman says, driving off in the Batmobile. We switch to Ghostmaker and Harley in a futuristic building in the middle of Gotham. Ghostmaker gets a call from Oracle. Take a message, Icon. We have company. Ghostmaker says as he walks Harley into the next room. From here, Ghostmaker shows off his own Batcave to Harley. He calls it The Haunt. In The Haunt, we see Ghostmaker has a huge dinosaur just like Batman. He calls his a Spinosaurus. He also has his own Batmobile with the Ghostmaker symbol on it. It's probably called the Ghostmobile. Harley is shocked by all this and how awesome The Haunt is. She finds both Batman and Ghostmaker very interesting. Ghostmaker then heads into a changing room to put on something more comfortable. He orders his AI icon to get Harley some champagne. So, is this a you want to kill me situation or you want to bang me situation? Harley asks. Ghostmaker tells Harley that he brought her to his hideout because she fascinates him. Harley's a trained therapist. She's fell for the most dangerous man on the planet. She's terrorized Gotham, joined the Suicide Squad, and is now trying to help the same city she's terrorized once before. And you don't stop no matter how many times Batman tells you you're not his sidekick. Ghostmaker states, Ghostmaker goes on to tell Harley that they're very similar. Harley is not a hero, but nor a villain. Ghostmaker is the same. He's a man that was labeled a psychopath. Instead of becoming evil though, he went on a journey to fix the world. Ghostmaker goes on to hand Harley a sword. Try and cut me. He says, You know, I'm still not sure where you stand on the kill slash bang spectrum. Harley says, going to attack with her sword. Ghostmaker deflects the attack, saying, Maybe it's a bit of column A, a bit of column B. Maybe this is all a test to figure that out for myself. Ghostmaker says, going to attack. Harley deflects the attack, saying, Huh, you really are nuts, aren't you? What's the deal with the mask? There are fewer than five people alive who have seen my entire face. Only three who know my birth name. Ghostmaker says, Now that is full on crazy, Harley says. Is it? How many people in your life really know you? Two of them, one of them used that to control me, and the other used it to set me free. I didn't realize what I had until she was gone. And I keep looking for her. Harley says, the two people she was referring to are obviously the Joker and Poison Ivy. And I imagine they are both psychopaths just like you. Pamela wasn't a psychopath. 
She was passionate and dangerous, and her anger could get the better of her, but that was a product of how much she cared, not how little. The gardener says, coming out of the shadows, Bella, is that you? Harley says, looking up surprised. Please, call me Gardener in front of company. Icon, tell me who I'm looking at. Ghostmaker says, Bella Gardson, wanted eco-terrorist, expelled from the faculty at Hudson University for cultivating predatory animal-plant hybrids. She was Pammy's girlfriend in college, Harley says. Why all the drama, though? I thought we were cool. I wanted to talk to you where I knew we wouldn't be overheard. This facility operates as a clean room. It's secure. She can't hear us in here, the gardener says. Who can't hear us? Any room you're in, she's in. As long as there's something rooted, she never could take her eyes off you. The gardener says, looking at Harley. Now Harley responds, saying, You're not telling me Ivy's in Gotham. I've been looking for months. There's a thick jungle growing deep underneath the city. Out around her. She's not laying anyone in, but spreads day by day. Her vines are eating into the city's foundation. She sees it as mutually assured destruction. If anyone comes to get her, she'll collapse the entire city into the cave systems below. I try to talk to her, but there's something wrong, something missing from her, the gardener says. Now that's when Ghostmaker goes up to the gardener and makes sure that she's talking about Poison Ivy. That's the only villain that Ghostmaker knows that deals with like vines and, you know, eco-terrorist stuff. Now that's when the gardener says straight to Ghostmaker's face. Look, I don't know you. I don't give a damn about you. I like her, okay? But I wouldn't have a problem feeding you both to the hounds. She needs you, Harley. Harley looks at the gardener and thinks for a little bit. But that's when their conversation is interrupted by Oracle. Oracle chimes in telling Ghostmaker that he can't keep ignoring her calls. Now, Oracle immediately notices that Ghostmaker is in a very serious situation, a very serious conversation, so she hangs up for a little bit. Now, that's when the gardener takes a little flower off her garden hounds and puts it on Harley, saying, Here, use this to tell me when you're ready to find her, and I'll take you to her. No bats, no ghosts, just you and me, okay? Yeah, Harley says the gardener walks away. Now that's when Ghostmaker calls up Oracle again saying, Now, what mess has Batman gotten himself into and how can Ghostmaker clean it up? From here we switch to Saint Industries. Simon Saints and his assistant Ricardo finish up a meeting with Mayor Nicano's right hand assistant Hugh. Saint gets out of his chair and looks out of a window at Gotham. Where's Scarecrow? Batman says, startling Saints. Stand back, Mr. Saints. I can take care of the flying rats. Ricardo says as he gets his metal arm and goes to attack Batman. But Batman immediately knocks Ricardo out with a kick. Simon Saint then tells Batman that he's quite impressed uh, how that fight went. Please excuse my assistance. I'm happy to help however I can. Saint says before Batman picks him up off the ground. I know you're working with Scarecrow. I want his location now. Batman says, Scarecrow? The supervillain? Batman, please. I would never associate with that kind of person. That simply isn't what I came to Gotham to do. It is a pee though. How scared the city is after everything it's been through. You did an uh, admirable job cleaning up the old gangsters, but you have to admit, you started to slip. You can't stop the most dangerous villains before they start doing real damage. Saint says as Batman puts him down, that fear is shaping Gotham City, Batman. The people want order. They need to feel certain that they won't get hurt again. They need to know that someone is looking out for them, and honestly, Batman is yesterday's news, but my idea of crime fighting, the magistrate program, that is tomorrow's news. I'm not here for your corporate pitch, Batman says. Perhaps you prefer a demonstration. 
I'd like you to meet the centerpiece of my program. I call him Peacekeeper 01. Simon St. Sass is Peacekeeper 01 walks toward Batman. And guys, I'm gonna say this. This splash image showing off Peacekeeper 01 looks so dope. I really like Jorge Amenes' design of Peacekeeper 01. It, it just looks really cool. Like, Peacekeeper 01 in this image looks so menacing. Now, Peacekeeper 01 then grabs Batman and chucks him at the wall. You hear a brack. Stay down, Batman. You are under arrest. Peacekeeper 01 says, I was just wrapping up the fine prints with a man from Nakano's office when you arrived. Gotham City has greenlit a pilot program of the magistrates with the express intention of stopping all mass threats in the city. The peacekeepers will resolve this terrible scarecrow plot and stop his allies in the Unsane Collective. Who knows what horrible thing they'll try next, Batman? If those punks aren't put down quick, they could do something far more daring than we've seen from them so far. They could even blow up Say Hall. Simon Saint says as he looks out the window, and what we see out the window is Say Hall just blowing up, and we hear a crack a crack a boom. Batman yells, no, because he finally realizes that the Unsane Collective aren't bad. They're not doing anything that has been causing terror in Gotham City. It's all Simon Saint and Scarecrow. Not to worry, Batman. Peacekeeper 01 will make those anarchists pay, and then he'll capture their benefactor, Scarecrow, and put him behind bars. And then we can turn our focus toward the mayor's real targets. The nest of vigilantes in little bat costumes infecting our city. Simon Saint says, smiling. Now that's when Batman throws some explosives at Peacekeeper 01, but it doesn't affect him at all. You're only making this worse, Batman. Stop resisting. Peacekeeper 01 says he deflects all the attacks from Batman. Now that's when Batman shuts off the lights in St. Industries. It is complete darkness. Now guys, this is a really cool scene because Batman is now using the shadows to his benefits. We all know that Batman does better in the dark, but there are occasions where a villain does not even get affected by this. They can still see Batman and they can still stop him. Now, while Peacekeeper 01 cannot see Batman at the moment, Batman takes that chance to try to contact Oracle, but then he figures out that he doesn't have a connection anymore. Batman Batman is on his own. Your lights out trick was nice and all, Batman, but I can see you. Peacekeeper 01 says as Batman charges at him through the hallway. Good. I can see you too. Batman says as he goes for a punch in the air. We end this issue off with a really cool splash image of Batman going to fight Peacekeeper 01. And guys, I am actually so hyped for this. Like, this is a really cool ending because the splash image done by Jorge Menes just... It, it, it looks so good. Seeing Batman in the air going for a punch and Peacekeeper 01 just ready to deflect it and punch back. That is just so dope. And I'm going to say, guys, this issue is probably the best issue in this uh, Cowardly Lot storyline by James Tynan. This is probably one of the best issues in James Tynan's run so far, mainly because we finally get some progress. And we get some really intriguing developments. Like the thing with Poison Ivy and how Harley is going after her now is really cool. I also really like Harley and Ghostmaker's interactions. But the best thing about this issue is when Batman confronts Simon Saints and Peacekeeper 01. Like it's a really awesome and like suspenseful sequence. So yeah guys, I really enjoyed this issue. And yeah, I'm gonna give this issue an 8.5 out of 10. I recommend it. If you've been feeling like this whole Batman run has been getting a little slow, well, this issue should get you back on track, should get you hooked again. It definitely got me hooked again into the story. And yeah, you guys, tell me your thoughts on this issue down below in the comment section. If you like the video, give a big thumbs up. New channel, make sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on my next Batman video. And yeah, thanks for watching, and peace out. <laughs>